Hey everyone, Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. And like I said, I'm gonna be bringing you guys more home screens, more lock screens, and I've been neglecting those, but gonna be giving you a lot more. So in today's video, gonna be bringing you a brand new home screen setup. It looks great, very minimal, very clean, very modern, from one of my most favorite designers out there. So you definitely wanna go check this out. Let us begin with today's new video. Great everyone, so in today's new video, I'll be helping you guys set up this very home screen. It is titled Val by the author Rabrot or Rabro, however you wanna say it, but he does a fantastic job in providing you with a clean, sophisticated, elegant home screen. Having a close look, it's got this very light, purple, I guess, or violet, um, these cards, it looks amazing. It's got this analog clock here, as well as your date at the top there, and it's got your app drawer, as well as any other shortcut that you might need. Now, of course, he's got a little hidden extra here. You've got your music player that if you select the little play button, it'll then start playing the music just like that, and it pops up with this little thing at the bottom that looks really neat. So I really enjoy that. Comes with both cards and looks really good. Of course, you've got your uh, notification bar there at the top, but of course, it's a modified one, and it looks really good. It's a lot, it's a lot cleaner than your stock notification bar. And then, of course, you've got your much-needed icons at the bottom, and you've got this little weather information here that looks really good as well. It's also very clean and just blends well with this entire home screen in itself. So if you'd like to know how to set up this very home screen for your phone, then let's begin with today's new video. Great, so as always, before we begin, just gonna let you know, guys know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. First up, a good old launcher. I recommend either using Thema or Nova Launcher. I will be using Nova Launcher for this very setup simply because there is a Thema zip file available for the Val home screen, so it makes your life a whole lot easier. But of course, if you don't have Thema, then you have to resort to using another launcher. So I'll be using Nova Launcher for this very setup. And next up will be the good old Zupa widget. This is because those two widgets that you saw before you those were using Zupa widgets. So you're gonna need that for that setup. And then of course, you're gonna be needing a good old file explorer, such as ES File Explorer, just to copy and paste your files into their necessary folders. If you open up ES File Explorer right now and locate the Val folder, remember it comes in the description below. So you just wanna download it, extract it, either copy it onto your computer and then directly onto your phone, or just download it directly onto your phone and extract it. But all you need is this Val folder. If you open it up, it comes with everything that you need. It's got your icons, the wallpaper, and of course those two Zupa widget files. So if you select both of them right now, and you wanna select copy, like right there, you wanna go into the main SD card directory right now, scroll all the way to the bottom and look for that folder there called Zupa Widget. If you open it up and look for the templates folder and open that up again, you wanna copy and paste those two Val Zupa Widget files. Remember, you know that they're Zupa Widget because they end in .zw. So that's pretty much the only background stuff that you need to do, the background setup. As all we left to do now is to basically now add in those two Zupa widget files onto the home screen. So let's get to it. First thing you need to do is to change the wallpaper. If we long press on the home screen, remember now this is the Nova Launcher um, setup using Nova Launcher, so things are gonna be a little bit different, but it all looks pretty much the same. If you select the wallpaper right now and you go locate where you have pasted the wallpaper that has been provided, I'm gonna go into my ES File Explorer, and there it is, the Val wallpaper. So you can pretty much put it however you want. I just made it take up the entire space right there, and I selected OK. Kind of like having a scrolling wallpaper. So there it is right there. It's now been set up like that. Looks pretty good. All you want to do now is to next add in that Zupa widget file. Well, both of them. Great, so if you have any icons or widgets on the home screen, you just wanna long press on them and either select remove or just drag them into the X at the top. So whichever works best for you. And you can do that pretty much everything that you currently see. Next, what we wanna do is to change some of the layout settings. So all we have to do now is to long press on the home screen 
select the little wrench there to open up the Nova Launcher settings. I do apologize if I'm doing this slightly different order, but it all works out to be the same. You can now select the desktop and then the desktop grid and a six by eight seemed to work out pretty well. Worked great on Thema, so it should work good all around, but it pretty much is all the same because it's just one widget taking up the entire screen and then just the icons at the bottom. Of course, for the home screens, it's gonna be two home screens just like that, so quite easy to do. And if you scroll a bit more down, your scroll effect, you can leave that however you want, does not bother me. Your icons and widgets, you wanna disable label icons. You don't wanna have them labeled as looks a bit odd. You wanna have your widget overlap setting enabled as well as overlap when placing, and that is your desktop settings complete. Scroll a bit more down, we're going to our look and feel. We wanna have that show notification bar, we wanna have that disabled, because we're gonna have our own badass notification bar. And that is it for here. We just wanna go back and we should have a completely blank home screen that's laid out just the way that we want it. What we wanna do now is to add in that Zupa widget. Great, so in order to add in the Zupa widget, we're gonna long press on the home screen and select widgets. Remember, every other launcher should have pretty much the exact same setup, but we wanna look for that one here titled Zupa Widget Pro. Just take note that if you are using Thema, um, you are welcome to use a zip file, but if you use Thema Zupa Widget, what's great about that is that you can save your theme and use it as a later date and the Zupa widget remembers what your layout is. If you do it like this, um, switching back to it, it won't always remember what your setup looks like. So just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna resize this now. Doesn't matter what size you choose as you're gonna be making it take up the entire home screen like this. So I'm gonna select back now and let's just tap it to open up the Zupa widget configuration menu. Next up, we're gonna go into our SD card as here is where our two Zupa widgets have been saved. I'm gonna open up this second one here. First, well, the one that's got the weather information. Selecting it will bring up anything that needs to be added. And for some reason, I'm not sure what happened to it, but the weather icons got shifted. So in order to change that, as you can see, it doesn't look too good. You wanna go into our layout and you wanna scroll all the way to the very bottom where it's got your default weather icons that have been labeled here. So I'm just gonna select each one of them and then guide for the vertically centered icons. So make sure that all, the, all of those have been selected and you've got your trash can icon here and your resize or reposition icon. You wanna select the reposition icon. And once that's been selected, you wanna enable fast move as we're gonna be changing that wire offset. So if we select the minus icon right there, you can see it starts shifting up, which looks good. And you just wanna keep moving it till it gets to a good position. I think that looks really good. So we can just go select back, back out of all of it. And that looks a whole lot better because previously it was at the, those icons were at the bottom. So that looks really good. All you have to do now is to add the other widget onto this second screen. So you're gonna do exactly the same. Gonna select widgets, gonna select Super Widget Pro, whatever size, remember it does not matter. Long press, resize. Make it take up the entire home screen just like this. Select it, select SD card, select this one here that comes with the analog clock. That looks pretty good. But now just one thing to take in mind is that these widgets have been configured to work with Thema. So what that means is that, say that little app icon there to open up your app drawer, it's gonna open up the Thema app drawer. And if you don't have Thema, it's not gonna do anything whatsoever. So you're gonna have to be changing a few of these and it does get slightly confusing. If you open up the layout section right now, as you can see, of course, you've got everything that's been laid out, but there is no app draw icon. They just all numbered as rich text. So you just have to kind of trial and error it and see which one is that app draw icon. So let's go for this rich text W and hey, that turned out to be correct. So what you wanna do now that you know what it is, you wanna select it. This brings up the little editor here. And if you scroll a bit down, you can see the widget on tap action that has been set to Thema app draw. Of course, you don't wanna have that. You wanna set that as your Nova launcher or your Apex launcher app draw. So if we scroll or swipe to the shortcuts tab and scroll a bit more down, you can see it's got there your Nova action. So of course, if you select that, it'll bring up various options here. You wanna select the app draw. What that means is that once you've configured everything that the way that you want it and you select that little icon, 
it'll open up the Nova Launcher app drawer. So that's exactly what you want to do for everything else that you see before you here. It is probably configured to be different options. So you want to double check everything, make sure that it opens up the apps that you want it. But if we just double check it right now by selecting this little icon here, brings up the Nova app drawer, quick and simple like that. So as mentioned, like for example, if you select this little play icon, what it's gonna do, it's gonna now bring up your Thema settings right now. It's gonna open up Thema, go to where it's supposed to be, which is basically just following orders. You can't blame it for that. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you've configured every app and little icon according to the way that you want it. So all you have to do now is add in those icons at the bottom and it's very simple to do. Great, so finally, in order to add in those icons, you want a long press on these widgets. It's gonna select resize. Probably should have done the icons first, but it does not really make much of a difference. You wanna make sure that there's a little bit of space at the bottom, because that'll allow you to long press and select apps. Now you can just choose the four apps that you prefer. So it comes with a camera, an SMS shortcut, a Gmail shortcut, and then your preferred phone shortcut. So once you've got those selected, and you just simply have to drag and resize these so that they just fit nicely at the bottom. Great, so once you have them all nicely lined up, all you have to do now is to change the icons to the ones that have been provided. In order to do that, you simply have to long press on an icon, select edit, select that icon right now, and it brings up your various galleries. So you just choose your preferred gallery, and I wanna select that Val camera. So it's been set like that, I just, I, no cropping whatsoever, just select okay. Select a little tick and then bam, it has now been changed to that camera icon. I'm just gonna show you one more time with email icon, long press, select edit, select that icon, go into your preferred gallery app. I'm gonna go for, where is it? Where is the mail? Right there, no cropping needed. Select okay, select that tick, bam. Quick and simple like that. And then repeat it on this home screen right here and then come back to me once you are done. Great, so once you have the icons on both ends there, all you left to do now is to now resize these widgets. In order to do that, you simply have to long press on the widget, select resize, make sure that it covers up the entire screen. You can just get away by selecting back. And all you left to do now is to long press on this and select send to back, just so that your icons are now in the front. Let's just see if that works. Selecting the camera will bring up the camera quick and simple like that. And then of course, the app drawer and whatever other icons that you have configured will open up their desired locations. So that is this home screen complete guys. And as mentioned, there is a Thema zip file. So all you have to do is to just basically click apply and within seconds, it'll then apply this amazing looking home screen in one click, it takes a few seconds and there's no setup required other than hitting that apply button. Great everyone, so hopefully you now have the Val set up on your phone, it looks amazing, it's very easy to set up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. If you have any other questions, don't forget to follow us on our various social communities. We're on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Always trying to help you guys out as much as possible. If that was too complicated for you, you wanna go check out our official Thema app. It's at one click customization launcher doing really well right now and I'm getting to enjoy it more and more. Other than that, Marco here from the My Color Screen channel and as always, don't stop customizing.